There's inherent environmental value in decarbonizing the automotive aftermarket. Humanity has had an impact on the environment since the Industrial Revolution. The UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change declaring in August 2021 that it is unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere, oceans, and land. Reducing emissions has long been a part of many companies' strategic goals. Many have aligned with the Paris Agreement or Paris Accords, an international treaty on climate change that was adopted in 2015. L'accord de Paris pour le climat est accepté. It has a long-term temperature goal to keep the rise in global service temperatures to below 2 degrees centigrade above pre-industrial levels. And to do that, greenhouse gas emissions need to be net zero by 2050. And the automotive aftermarket has answered the rallying cry to move towards zero emissions, but understands that what's good for the environment has to be good for the customer. Let's head into the part shop and dive into the value details on this episode of Taking Stock of Sustainability. Standing at the counter, you expect the questions. Do you have the right part? What's it cost? But counter pros need to be ready for a new question. Is it sustainable? Last time we talked about what that even means. And this time we're focusing on the value. Whether you're looking for a part for a shop customer that's fielding the sustainability question for their customer, or you're talking to a DIYer who has their eye on the environment, there's increased value in parts that are manufactured through sustainable practices. But you don't have to take my word for it. So the value to the end user of a part that is manufactured through sustainable manufacturing processes is that, first of all, less carbon equivalents are generated per unit of manufacture. However, of equal importance, in the long term, those manufacturers that focus on sustainability will also focus on efficiency improvements, which applies to all areas of the business, including for us, for example, raw materials, energy, water, and waste optimization. And I'll give you a few examples. At Scheffler, before we look at alternatives to convert our electric grid towards renewable resources, we are implementing hundreds of efficiency measures in all of our locations to reduce our energy consumption. This has the win-win result of reducing our total energy consumption while correspondingly reducing our carbon footprint. And some examples of these measures are as simple as efficient lighting, cold water washing, and infrastructure temperature and pressure set points. Similarly, at Scheffler, we focus on water and waste reductions. Again, with a win-win scenario of reducing our consumption and disposal while lessening the burden on the environment. Regarding material efficiency, we are re-engineering thousands of tools with the focus on minimizing our material waste and increasing the ratio of input material to finish good weight. Similarly, reducing our material consumption while reducing our carbon footprint. Lastly, our focus on reducing the emissions from our raw material sources using electric arc fired or hydrogen technology means that upstream producers reduce their direct emissions and can use a higher percentage of recycled material to meet our specifications and thus contribute to the circular economy. Look, I believe that through customer leadership and practices that the industries that we serve will move towards a more sustainable future. And in the long term, the manufacturers like Scheffler that are engineering their way to a sustainable future by investing in people, education, and process and product technology will ultimately be more competitive in the long term. Clearly, manufacturers are putting their manufacturing money where they value sustainability. For example, Scheffler has increased its investments in a company called H2 Green Steel. Traditional steel is one of the largest industrial sources of CO2 emissions, primarily due to its reliance on coal in the blast furnace. Green Steel aims to change that by adopting more sustainable production techniques, such as using renewable energy sources instead of coal. Steel purchased from H2 Green Steel has up to 95% less embodied CO2 emissions than conventional steel produced via the blast furnace. As products made with green steel become available for automotive applications, you can make a difference simply by recommending them to your customers. That'll do it for this episode of Taking Stock of Sustainability. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.